coming up. So how much money have you put into this? Uh, in excess of 200K. An entrepreneur hopes her sacrifices are not in vain. 200,000. Yep, I sold my house. But will the sharks find a reason to invest? Marie, you've got a bigger problem here, mate. This literally sent a shiver down my spine. Next into the tank is Marie, who's gone way out on a limb to finance her entrepreneurial dream. There's a lot at stake for me. I've sold my house, I've wound up a business, but I had to make the decision to back myself. Getting a deal means that we can accelerate this and catapult it to the next level, and that's a game changer. Hi, I'm Rhee Machen and I have a vision for us, a more connected and slightly less stressful world. The opportunity I have for you today is to get in on the ground floor with TrackTag. What that looks like is a $200,000 investment for 10% equity in the company. TrackTag is for the adventurer, the photographer and the traveller and the gear they love. The clever, tough tags and the unique scannable codes can make the difference between an awesome experience and an awful one. It's direct, it's global, it's rewarding and it's personalised. The last 18 months I've been trialling and testing track tag and what I need right now is an injection of working capital. And that working capital will be directed towards marketing and development of an app. So Marie, that, that was $200,000 for 10%, so you're valuing your business at $2 million. That's correct, Andrew. So do you want to know how it works? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. <laughs> of course you do. Let's see it. Imagine you're on the man on the ferry today. Maybe you're feeling a bit of something, a bit uncomfortable around your seat. So if you'd like to explore your seats, you might yeah. find something. Well, look. look. Ah! Andrew. I found some keys. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> hey, gosh, someone's <laughs> left some keys here. I'd love to scan it for you and show you how it works. Sure. So you've got this very cool little tag on there. Right. And I have a camera up here. So it's as simple as scanning the tag. Found my item. And if you go into the contact me, you'll get my contact details. Ooh. OK, so your mobile number is on that. I can choose what information I want on there. I can provide a first name, a surname, an email address or a phone number. Um, so we do limit the information that can be put on there, but it's direct and that's the value of it. G'day Marie, yep. can I just grab a tag that's been registered please? I just yes, want to actually you can. try it out on my phone here. Thank you very much. If the person finds it, do they have to have that app downloaded? No, that's uh, any QR code scanner. They're generic. So you do have to have a QR scanner on your phone? You do. I don't have one. Or you go straight to the website, which is also on there, pop the, the number that's written on there, and you get exactly the same place. So I think that's overcomplicating it. Why not on your key ring just have your phone number on it? At the moment you're doing, I've got to go down, I've got to download an app because I haven't got one of the codes, yep. or put it in. Yep. I'm doing three steps. People in this world don't do three steps, they do one button. So, so Marie, yes. I just used a QR code scanner, yes. honestly, and it took me 90 seconds to scan that QR code. One of the reasons I hate QR codes is they're very hard to scan. Mm -hmm. This is speaking to Janine's point, it's overcomplicated. Yep. The thing about mobile technology is, is you've got to capture the user's attention within less than 10 seconds. Yep. Otherwise they're going to go, who cares about lost keys? Yep, they get it. Yep. So at this point you are pre-revenue, aren't you? You don't have yes. any paying customers. Oh, no, yeah. Yes, we do. Oh, OK. So we have over 300 members and that's just come incrementally and organically from our, our trials. OK, so how much are people paying? It's per month, is it? Uh, $2.95, $2.95 a month or $30 a year. And you've got 300 paying customers? Correct. Well, that's a start. Yep. It's more than I thought. When I subscribe, 30 bucks a year, how many takes does that give me? Up to 50. 50? And tell me, how much money do you make out of that subscription? About $20. So you need 100,000 customers just to get to your 2 million valuation? Yep. So how much money have you put into this? Uh, in excess of 200k. 200,000? Yep. What, what, what did you spend that on? IT guys, IP, prototyping, development of the website, all that back end. Oh, okay. So are they outsourced? 
Yep. So you've given them a brief. Correct. And then they've been developing the platform for Correct. you. Correct. And most of your money has gone on paying this outsourced supplier. Some of that, yes. Where, where did you get the money from? I sold my house. You sold your house? Mm. Yep. Did you keep your day job? No. So, so, you're, so you're working on this 100% of your time? That's correct. Wow. So how are you surviving? Because there's no income coming in. Yeah, so that was part of the sale of the house, was to back myself. Yeah. What, what does your family think? I mean, this is a pretty tough situation, isn't it? Um, look, I've got two sons and, and they're very supportive. Right. Do they live with mum? They do. Right. Oh, Marie. Marie, you've got a bigger problem here, mate. I went on the web, mm -hmm. and after I actually entered a number that successfully registered, yes. I got to see someone's name, mm -hmm. email address, and phone number. Who did you get? I got Marie. Mike. I could write a program in two minutes flat that would tear every last privacy detail out of your system. Oh. You have an amazing problem here, Marie. Hackers. Marie is pitching her solution to lost property, a scannable sticker called Track Tag. So it's as simple as scanning the tag. She's banked everything on her business. So how much money have you put into this? Uh, in excess of 200k. 200,000? Yep. I sold my house. But Steve has big concerns about users' privacy. Marie, you've got a bigger problem here, mate. I got to see someone's name, Mm -hmm. email address and phone number. Who did you get? I got Marie's. Mike. I could write a program in two minutes flat that would tear every last privacy detail out of your system. Oh. You have an amazing problem here, Marie. Hackers. This literally sent a shiver down my spine. I, I want to be really brutally honest with you here, right? This is really simple and it's a poor implementation of it at the same time. I'm out. OK, thank you. Marie, if the plan doesn't work, yes. change the plan, not the goal. OK. For me, it's overcomplicated. Yep. I'm out. OK, thank you. We've been trying to get pets back to owners for the whole time I've ever been in business. And my concern is you haven't come up with a unique solution. Mm hmm I'm out. Lovely, thank you. It's not as if this isn't a cluttered space, but it doesn't mean that you don't have an application. Yep. It just means there's lots of competition. I'm always looking for a better mousetrap. Yep. But I need that mousetrap to really catch mice. I'm out. Fair enough. Thank you. Marie, look, I, I, I feel for you. Uh, your tag says, I lost it, you found it, just scan it. Yes. I, I feel that... You know, I hope your 200,000 isn't lost. Yep. But I do feel this business plan has lost its way. Fair enough. I'm sorry, I'm out. Lovely, thank you. All the best, Marie. Thanks, Marie. Thanks, thank you. Marie. Thank you. Oh, dear. If you ever need 200,000 reasons as to why you need tech in a business, that is it. Yeah. I respect the, the comment shared and the, and the opportunity to put in front of the sharks um, and I will take that on board and move forward with the project. Steve, are you telling me there's no way she's going to get her $200,000 back? With what we saw today, not a, not, a, not a snowball's chance in hell. I'm an investor, I get a lot of pictures. So what you see on Shark Tank is what I do for a day job. The more pictures I see, the more you've got to make it stand out. But what I really care about is, is you, the person, your background, your business ethics, your skills. The problem. The idea I actually care about last. <laughs>